So I'm here with Andy Martin. One of my favorite sections is the primer table, or as they call it here, Ohio suede. <laughs> Just because there's so much potential, it's a work in progress. Andy's got these, these two gems that are coming along. Hey, Doug White from Model Car Muse. We were glad to meet up with Andy Martin at the 40th NNL Nationals in Toledo, and we're excited to share it with you. Andy, what was your inspiration? Different things for each one. Sometimes I get my inspiration by just fooling around with parts at my workbench. Like, here's a body. Oh, hmm, maybe this engine. Maybe I can make this out of it. And I start fooling around, and then the idea is, it just flows from there. Actually, concept level is a little higher in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a history to it. I've done resin casting for a number of years, and I was selling Model T center door sedans. I was doing a stock version. And I was fooling around with that one day. Hey, how about if I chop the top and make a funny car body out of it? And so that's what this one is. That's one of my resin castings. I want to build one, but I want to distinguish it. I've done V8 top fuel motors before. So I thought, ah, make a V12. And let's have two blowers. And so I worked as a CNC machinist. So I was able to do the oil pan, the rock arm covers, the manifolds. Yeah. Went with four magnetos because you got all those cylinders. Right. But I updated it by having bigger blowers, you know, 1471s. Really contemporary. And, the, you know, the modern style injector scoops. Yep. Uh, but then I had the body on it and I thought, well, it needs some sort of wing. And I was thinking of doing a regular funny car style one where it's just flat and then it has sides on it. But then that would obscure too much of the shape of the body. Mm -hmm. So I decided to wing up on a pylon and then add side plates. So you can still see you know, the turtle deck back there. Yeah, it still retains that vintage you, turtle you, deck, but you, it's got this massive modern came down here before Yeah, and, uh, and you know, even though the sedan's never had a turtle deck, but yeah, it's part, it's, it's a Model T styling cue, and I need to cover up the back of the frame, so it, it worked. It could have done that at the yeah. time. You know, my style has always been kind of over the top, but it could be real. Yeah. You could, it could be built. And it would be function. functional. Yeah, absolutely. It's scary, but it would function. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it's scary. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one, like I say, inspiration can come from odd places. So years ago in the '60s, Hubley actually made injection molded slot car bodies. Okay. They're that. obscure. Yeah. So they made one with the chop, you know, Austin body on it, mm -hmm. and it had a a long nose on it. And it was just meant, you know, make a slot car out of it, you know, with all parts Hubley had. I found one of those bodies, and a, uh, another friend of mine who cast resin, he wanted to make copies of it. And so I got one of the resin copies, and I thought, yeah, I want to make one of those, you know, they had a class, you know, it was A, A slash C, A coupe. Sure. And then the Roadsters yep. was a Roadster. So it was, yeah. it was just a dragster with a body on it. Yeah. So I wanted to do something with that. I wanted to do twin engine. So I was looking at the AMT twin engine, which is, you know, they're both longitudinal. Yes. Okay. And I thought, oh, maybe transverse, two engines. And then I thought, okay, and then I'd have the blower belts off at each side. And I was, I've never seen it before. Right. Which always appeals to me. Oh, sure. Yeah. And so it was just, like I say, started with this body and yeah, I want to make one of those. And the details, the weird details I come up with just kept stacking up. Double white walls for the slicks yeah. and the front. Real great vintage look. Yeah. And then the wheels are, I think, out of a Ravel. I'm thinking the Attempt 1 kit. Yeah. But. I machined Those some are. rims out of titanium. Okay. That's what that is. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, you know, machined, uh, well, like the scatter shield, yeah. the axle housings, and there's going to be a torque tube between the transmission and the rear axle. Machine those out of stainless. Uh, the transmission is going to be an old hydromatic. You know? Okay. Yeah, they put, yeah, I got it out of the AMT Willis gas sure. kit. What color are you going to finish the body in? Uh, I was thinking of either a candy blue. Mm -hmm. I might put a note, make a nose for it. I'm not sure of that. But then I'd have to cover up my 
my weird quarter elliptic, single quarter elliptic leaf spring suspension that works. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. and it functions. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I've yet to make the shock absorbers. They're going to mount between that rocker and that mount there, so I'll have two well, fake shock, shock absorbers. And uh, you know, I'll have uh, you know, working posable working steering. I'll have a drag link that moves, but I'm not going to run it up through the steering wheel. I don't want to mess with gears and weird shit and like that. Because yeah, because in the end, as long as you compose the wheels, yeah. the linkage moves, it's yeah. cool. I, I made the, the slicks myself. I wanted pie crust, yeah. but I want them big. And so I machined um, tire and the white walls. Yep. I cast them up and I cast the tires out of a soft urethane. So if you squeeze them, there's a little skip to them. Yeah. Cool. You know, it's really cool here. The windows, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, so we make the arch to support the body, yeah. but we have to retain that that little bit of flavor that's a window, yeah. <laughs> as small yeah. as it is. Just like the little yeah. cutout in the side for the for the tire. Just that little yeah. graceful curve that's in there that yeah. just continues the mm -hmm. whole thing. Well, this, I suppose that's the theme that hooks these two together. Yeah. Even though this is sort of a kind of a perverse early 60s look. Right. And this one is modern. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's modern with a contrast between you know really, really old, that center door T yeah. and then those those scoops yeah. right out of today. Yeah, so it'll be covered with a lot of carbon fiber decal. And I machine my own wheels. They have a matching spoke pattern, six spokes. And uh, yeah. The like the rear wheels, how many pieces are there? That's not just all one piece. Yeah, it is. Very and good. and Very I made good. it on a mill, not a lathe. Wow. Because <laughs> you can circular interpret yeah. interpolate. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a lot of fun getting it this far and I know finishing it'll be even more fun. Yeah. Thanks to Andy for the interview. I'm looking forward to seeing your completed builds. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow your muse wherever you may find it. May there always be a project on your bench. Thanks for watching.